Okay, so do you know the rapper Blueface? He's the one that's going out with that crazy girl. Or he was with her, right? Yeah, they broke up. There's a video online, right, that he's taken. People are saying Blueface is facing backlash after asking his son if he's gay because he was looking for snacks instead of being in the living room with dancers. Now, what? you look like you was going to say something. Oh, Basically, okay. in this video, he's asking his son, are you gay? Because the son wasn't interested in watching the dancers. He was interested in finding snacks, yeah. And How old is the son? The son looks young, like... You'll see. The issue is not him asking his son if he's gay. I want to know what your opinion is on what he's trying to get his son to watch. Okay. Okay. What is he trying to get him to watch? Casual day. Casual day with Jay Nasty. <laughs> son. Come here. There's booty cheeks out here. You in here looking for chips. And Slim Jim's and shit. You ain't gay, is you? Huh? Are you gay? You ain't gay, right? My man. My dog. <laughs> My young. Before we discuss, yeah, I'm just going to zoom in for you. Oh, damn. I didn't even see that. She's proper twerking with her whole ass out. That is a ridiculous thing to do with your son in the house who didn't even look like he was older than five, six years old. What the, what the, I mean, the, I didn't see that in the background. I didn't even really clock what was going on at first. If he was just like having a bit of banter with his son, like, I, I, I don't know why you, why would you record that in the first place? But if he was just having a bit of banter, I would have said whatever. But what the fuck are these strippers doing in the house when your little boy's there? And then you're saying to him, are you gay? The added context makes it a lot worse. He, yeah, he said, there's booty cheeks in here and you're looking for chips. That kid's going to have some girl pregnant by the age of 14 if he, if his dad keeps exposing like, him to yeah, shit like that. Yeah, what are you exposing your kid to? Because, okay, so let's, um, let's flip the roles now let's imagine you've got your your four-year-old daughter in the house are you going to have her there while there's male strippers in the house no you're not you're going to not have her watch that so why should it be different just because it's a son number two where 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 have the days gone when you can just let kids be kids and enjoy kids things you know toys cartoons video games anything like that like you're really trying to get your son to sit there and watch and in this clip as well it looks like there is already a kid on the sofa and it looks like she's twerking to this kid. That's look, yeah, the there kid's is. there just watching and this one over here is literally like smacking her bum. Look. Yeah. With the little girl right there just staring at her. What are these kids being exposed to? Well, look, there's always been really like, there's always been a lot of creepiness in Hollywood and in the music industry with children. And I think they have a complete disregard for the innocence of children. I also think a lot of them are predatory. A lot of them are into grooming. And in Blueface's... Is the name Blueface? Blueface. In his case, I would say he's, he's, he's probably just dense. He comes across as dense. He comes across dense whenever I see him talking. If you're exposing your children to that, you're a bad parent. I'm sorry. There's a little girl sitting on the couch. There's a woman twerking with her whole, her whole arsehole almost out. And the boy's there looking for snacks like a kid should be yeah. searching for snacks. Does he, is, he, is he surprised that he's getting backlash? Has he said anything regarding it? I haven't seen any responses, but apparently people are always... Like, apparently there's loads of videos that he posts online and his kid is never involved in what he's doing. He's always just doing his own thing, so he should. And it's like the kid knows he just wants to not be around that sort of stuff. That's not enjoyable for a kid anyway. Well, what is it with with celebrities posting all their shit online these days? I mean, look, I'm glad you did because now we know you're, you're a bit of a creep, but... Why are they recording all of their worst moments and putting it online? It's like they're all doing it now. It's like a big trend. That kid, I mean, social services should get involved with that. That's absolutely ridiculous. Like you said, if that was the other way around, those were male strippers in there gyrating in front of little girls or little boys, everyone would be up in arms. It shouldn't be any different if it's a bunch of uh, girls in there doing it. 
And no. to the girls, I mean, I, I'm assuming, you know, Blueface has a lot of money. Those girls, if he says jump, they're going to jump. They don't really care who's in the vicinity. They don't care about the child's well-being or anything like that. I don't, obviously, I don't follow Blueface. I don't know much about him outside of him and his crazy ex-girlfriend. But if he is surprised that people are pissed off about that, He's even more dense than I thought. I don't really have much more to say. That's such a crazy thing. Mm. I'm, I'm, so, I, I didn't even register what I was looking at at first. It's just sad to see the kid being exposed to that. Yeah, the kid, the kid's gonna grow up in an environment like that. Probably going to see women as nothing but pieces of meat because all these, all these around are strippers and porn stars or mm. whatever else and. He'll probably get someone pregnant very young. He'll That's what I'm saying. It's either going to be an STI or a pregnancy. Yeah, will probably emulate his dad and get a girl that is abusive and uneducated as well and just doing all sorts of crazy shit. And the cycle will continue. The negative stereotypes that are attached to people that look like Blueface will be passed down to uh, his unfortunate son and it, they will just continue to perpetuate it and then wonder why people look at them a certain way. You, I, mean, I feel sorry for the kid. He doesn't know he's innocent. Mm. But one day that kid's going to turn to a degenerate like Blueface, and that will be Blueface's fault. There's no excuse to be exposing children to that sort of stuff. The child should be playing the N64, should be searching for snacks. You should be doing treasure hunts with the kid, teaching them something. Instead, you've got, a, you've got strippers in there. Not one, not two, three strippers in there and two children. Imagine the little girl, what she's going to grow up like. Little girls look at her Because that's going to be normal to her. Yeah, she's probably going to be one of them. She's, she's going to be copying it from a young age as well, which is even worse. You know, sometimes, like, little kids, they copy, like, music videos on the TV and try and do all the dance moves. Like, yeah. that's what this little girl is going to be doing at such a young age. Like, it's just it's just wrong. It's yeah. not normal. It's bad parenting. But then, like, a lot of these people are not fit to be parents. Mm. They're just not. They, they Obviously, they're not. I'm assuming they come from backgrounds where these things happen to them. And it's just a cycle that continues and continues. And because they don't understand anything about respecting someone's body or not treating them as a piece of meat or, um, you know, just not being in those environments. If that's all you're exposed to, that's all you're going to do. It's sad because like in 10 to 15 years from now, when that kid's grown up and he's impregnated some girl and he's doing dumb shit like Blueface, probably going to get cussed out as well. But this is where it starts. Mm. Parents exposed him to that in no regard whatsoever. He's there laughing and joking. It's not funny. It's just not funny. And it would, there would be massive, massive uproar if it was men, right? Because we talk about drag queens on here all the time, twerking in front of children yeah. and wearing inappropriate things. And it's annoying. And I, the parents that watch our channel hate it. But you should hate this shit as well. You shouldn't be like, oh, you know, like, I would have loved that if I was a little boy. Nah, man. Yeah, it's just, it's, they're always praised, young boys, for yeah, and I get anything it. of like. I get it. Because when I was younger, we used to think to ourselves, oh man, if what, why, why didn't one of my teachers want to sleep with us? You know, you hear about these female teachers mm. sleeping with these kids. And when you're a young boy, your fantasy is like a, a hot teacher. Well, some, some kids' fantasies were anyway. And I remember there used to be jokes about, oh, you know, the, the pretty teacher put me in detention. I hope she does this, that, and the other. And it's, it is sort of put, like, we are, we are almost conditioned to believe that it's okay for girls to do it to boys. But when boys do it to girls, it's not. But it's wrong either way. It's yeah. paedophilic behavior. It's inappropriate. It exposes the child to things that he shouldn't be exposed to. And it just continues this cycle of fuckery that we're dealing with in our society. Anyway, as I was saying before Michael made me cut the camera off, Michael cancelled filming yesterday to go watch Mission Impossible. And he used the excuse that he's got diarrhea. That's not what happened. That is firstly. what happened. I texted her saying... Sammy, I'm so tired. But I'm going to watch Mission Impossible tonight. Yeah, I was tired. I took my mum to watch Miss Mission Impossible. What are you talking about? Diarrhea. Well, diarrhea, where'd that come from? So you wasn't, you wasn't telling me how you was on the toilet and you got food poisoning from wireless? Yeah, I did. But that wasn't because I, I... That wasn't the reason that I took off Midnight Rubbish. I took off Midnight Rubbish because I had a day off. Because you wanted in. to go watch Mission Impossible. No, I could have watched it anyway. Had time. What do you mean you had time? Oh, what, during the day? Yeah, I could have gone earlier. Whatever. Took a day off and this one got a knickers in a twist. No, I didn't. I said, that's fine. Rest you're up. Doing it right now. Hmm? Doing it right now. No, I just thought I'd expose you. Expo well, I mean, look, I invited this donut to come watch it with me. And do you know what she said? What did you say, actually? It was quite rude. Absolutely not. Is that what you said? I don't know. I can't remember. Every single place I've invited her, she says, no, this is now an ongoing thing on this channel. 
you guys, what was it? I invited you to, um, what was the other thing I invited you to? Did I invite you to anything else? No, you haven't invited me to <laughs> Okay, well, she was talking crap the other day about me not inviting her places. She's the first person I text. Do you want to come watch Mission Impossible with me? Thank you for the invite, but it's a no from me. What's rude about it's that? It's a no from me, like I'm on the weakest link. So I, I, I said thank you for the invite, no, basically, but just because I said it's a no from me Why doesn't mean I'm no? being rude. Because I didn't want to watch Mission Impossible. Have you, you've seen Mission Impossible before, right? No. None of them? No. Oh, Jesus Christ. You do need to move that light in, though. You do look better white. Don't Can I stand thing. here and you fiddle with it? Because I can't see what it's going to look like on me whilst I'm doing it. So, seems better. Yeah, oh, shit. Yeah, Mission Impossible was fucking sick. Spoiler alert. You can't yeah. do that. It's only just come out. I'm giving them a chance. Click off the video in three, I'm giving two, you one. Okay. There is a scene in this film that is so intense that literally everyone in the cinema was was like was like holding their breath. Like you know, in these sort of films, <gasps> everyone's like really hype. Mm. This scene came on, right? So what <laughs> happened was they were on a train and they were trying to What if I'm gonna go watch this? Yeah, um, this is this is what the eighth Mission Impossible. You're not gonna watch the other ones. They were trying to get something off this train, a key that unlocks some sort of like <sighs> entity. Sorry, and uh, the train, the train has derailed. Basically, the the guy has blown up the bridge. The train comes off. This is before Tom Cruise has jumped off a fucking a mountain, like a thousand feet in the sky on a motorbike onto a train. This is all real, by the way. And then he gets on the train. The train is going over the bridge. He manages to unhook one of the carriages. So part of the train flies off the bridge and explodes because the bridge has exploded as well. And then some of the train is hanging off the bridge where Tom Cruise and his co-stars, I can't remember her name, but she was so sick in the film as well. All the women in this film were convincingly badass. <coughs> and they're trying to climb up the train and the carriages are falling one at a time. It's such a well shot scene. It's one of the best scenes in the entire series. If you haven't seen Mission Impossible yet, go and watch that. Well, I'm sure nobody who intended on going to watch it would have listened to that. So you can't say that now. However, no one's going to watch it in this video now because they're not going to know how long you're doing a spoiler for. So they're just going to click off it. Well done. <laughs>